And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shadow Ezreal. That's right, we are playing um, Ezreal Control that, you know, like how Ezreal Control is real popular these days, like Ez Ezreal Karma and Ezreal Draven. Um, that's those, like, those are both very popular archetypes. And then also just these uh, Shadow Isles decks, um, you know, with like really good late games and stuff like that are pretty popular too. And I thought like, what if we combine the two? What if we try playing um, Ezreal with Shadow Isles? Kind of like spooky Ezreal instead of spooky Karma. Um, so that's, that's what we got going on here. All right, so, uh, you know, we still need to target our opponent a bunch, and uh, Shadow Isles has, or target our opponent's units a bunch uh, for Ezreal, and Shadow Isles has some good options. Of course, Vile Feast being maybe the best, but then also Black Spear. But then if you're playing Black Spear, you need to have allies that die, and so as far as having allies that die, we have, like, the Jury Rig creatures we can make. Of course, we have Chump Wump. And then I thought, like, let's try some Warden's Prey. Just, like, have Warden's Prey is just a, a good... Uh, I think this is actually a, a pretty decent card where, like, for this deck, like, where we can chump block with it, have it die for Black Spear, and then it makes another Last Breath follower. If it's something that's really good and we want to cast it, that's great. If it's not anything that's that good, that's okay because that's just an extra, you know, it generates a card for us because we know how important generating those cards are when you're playing, like, Rummage that you want to discard stuff or get excited um, and things like that. So uh, so we're going to have, like, the, the Warden's Prey in here. Uh, that's why I'm going with that instead of like hapless aristocrat. Cause I'd rather generate the the last breath card instead of um, just making a one one. But then you know we have all of our like normal um, PNZ cards. But then our top end we also have vengeance, so we have ways to like actually kill large creatures and you know get the target in for Ezreal. And then I got some spicy ones at the top end. The reason like one main reason going. Uh, <clears throat> Shadow Isles here is because then we have Ruination, so we can you know keep trying to like kill stuff with removal. But if they go too wide, we have Ruination to help clean it up. Uh, we have Commander Ledger. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we we have Commander Ledros. Um, that uh, can also be another win con to go along with Ezreal. So we have that. And then um, we also have two Rasas. So the Rasas that we have here, there's just people, you know, people walking their dogs that, that walk by. Um, the, the Rasas, now it's not like, uh, it's not like Yone, like where it targets the two things. That would be great with Ezreal if it targets the two things. But honestly, it's just a really, really good card that people aren't really... Um, they're not ready for it right now. People aren't playing around Rasa. Um, our deck has a good job of killing lots of small creatures. And so maybe they have, you know, two, two other creatures left. And that we get to, you know, again, have like our Warden's Prey or Jury Rig. You know, like we have these extra creatures, the Vile Feast creatures. We have these extra creatures. We have them die. And then um, our Rasa can uh, kill two enemies. And so I, I really like the Rasa. Um, I played, I, you know, I was testing this a little earlier today before stream, and Rasa was uh, super clutch for me. So hope it's, uh, hope it's the same here. But anyway, yeah, sorry about the, the dog barking there. Um, but here we go. Here's some Shadow Ezreal. Let's go play five games. And let's see how let's see how this deck does. Okay, what are we playing against? Karma Heimerdinger. So we don't really need these things. I mean, the Warden's Prey. Just seeing like our one mana 1 1. I, I could definitely see just getting rid of the Warden's Prey, not, not keeping it either. It's more of a useful chump blocker, but. Well, we'll play it. The chains, they never stop. We'll give it a try. Ooh, 
that's a good card to draw. Control Mirror is going to be pretty interesting. I think, um, honestly, Heimerdinger is a card that I am... Like, that's a card I'm definitely really worried about. Okay. You know, they have Heimerdinger and go crazy with it. Especially if they protect Heimerdinger from, like, a, a get excited. I'm definitely worried about Heimerdinger. Um, we do have the Ruination that could, could clear stuff up. But then, you know, they could have Deny at that point, too. All right, they're just not, they're not really stopping barking. I may have to move them to the back of the house. All right, I'll be right back. Sorry about this. I don't know what exactly what happened. It looks like they played another pickpocket. Oh, they denied it. Okay, well, that's good. I like eating a deny. That's good. And then thermogenic beam, the 1-1. One, one. That's fine. This is where it's kind of tough. Obviously, I want to play the Undying. But if I play the Undying and then they just play Karma or Heimerdinger, that's really rough. Because then I don't have grasp, grasp for it. Undying's definitely good. It's just, I really hope they don't just play Karma or Heimerdinger right here. Good. Alright, so we're looking at having six mana next turn, plus the two we can progress a day. So I'm not going to play the Mushroom Cloud. Even though I, I would like to just give them uh, the Mushrooms to try to add up for more damage. Oh, well, now I'm glad we didn't play the Mushroom Cloud for that reason as well. Yeah, it's probably smart just not to play the Mushroom Cloud. I think they, I think they Static Shock just to use mana and draw a card. I think that's that's why they did that. They just wanted to, you know, like they had five mana that was going away, or, you know, they just had some mana that was going away if they um, just wanted to draw a card. Yeah, it passed. That's awesome. Um I 
I'm gonna rummage away Black Spear and Mushroom Cloud. They just keep on passing. I really wish we could do stat we could static shock our own thing. I really wish we could. Give them 10 mushroom clouds <clears throat> or 10 puff caps so they start drawing into them. Yeah, keep passing, man. It's good. No, no karma, no Ezra. No karma, no uh, Heimerdinger. Definitely good. So we do get to Vile Feast. We get to Vile Feast our Undying. That's going to kill it. I mean, I don't think saving... Like... I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to level up Ezreal, honestly. It doesn't... Like, this... Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to le level up Ezreal. So they used one deny earlier. And they used that deny really aggressively. If somebody's using a really aggressive deny, that most likely means that they have another deny in hand. That would be my guess. Behold, my masterwork. There's one Heimerdinger gone. Unfortunately, they only got two. I really want, you know, obviously I wanted them to get three because I wanted the Undying to die. But they only got two. Rasa! I'm telling y'all, Rasa's... Rasa's so good. Rasa's so good. And yeah, like they, you know, without having a quick clock with no Heimerdinger, they just weren't going to be able to outlast the Undying. Yeah, True Shot Barrage is the seven mana deal three, two, and one, um, and it's it's not bad. It's not bad necessarily. We're gonna keep Mystic Shot for Kempunk Pickpocket. And try drawing some different cards. It's a card that like I you'll hit sometimes with like Flash of Brilliance, and I, I always like hitting it with Flash of Brilliance. I think it's a it's, it's a good Flash of Brilliance hit. They never stop. I gotta get out of here. But see, like like Warden's Prey was awesome that game. You know, it got us the Undying. Like sometimes it's gonna be really good like that. Sometimes it will get you a card that's you know worthless, and um, in those cases, you just hold on to it and discard and loot away that worth worthless card. Alright, 
Let's go find the mushrooms. They cannot hide. Ross is so big. How is this not a champion? Look at how small these little guys are compared to Rasa. Alright, so they just use a thermogenic beam. Dealt four damage to my Chumpawump. There you go. Two mushrooms. That's two good damage right there. Pocket gone. I gotta get out of here. Like against aggressive decks, I wouldn't be throwing out those mushroom clouds like that. But against control decks, I like playing the mushroom clouds more because. The games go longer, they draw more cards, like the progress days, stuff like that. Like trying to get this damage to add up. But against aggro decks, we would like look for rummage. for them. Their as is at 2. My as is at 2. Night falls. Gonna try this Vile Feast. I feel bad if they play Karma. Very good. I also feel kind of feel bad, I guess, if I draw a Rummage. I'll feel bad. Oh, we've dealt three damage so far with those. Keep going, 17 puff caps. Keep going. Go try to quell the wind or whatever. I don't care. Alright, dealt another point. Four points of four puff caps now. Ross is great here. This is like the time to use Ruination. Like if we're going to actually use Ruination, this would be the time. So I guess we're probably not going to use Ruination. So 
I'm telling you, this Ross is so underrated. I think if it was like Yone and you got to, if you had targeted him though, that would be great. As far as Ezreal is concerned, but. The world's a big place. Let's see all of them. Clap, clap. And of course we're going straight to attacks. We're not playing Ezreal first. We don't want them to play another Yone and stun Rasa. Yeah, last game we played Rasa, opponent conceded. This game we play Rasa. And they're in a lot of trouble now. There as is seven out of eight. Take it. Boo. Alright, so there as real is eight out of eight. Um kind of want to just replay Rasa right now. Seven. It's dangerous. I'm in. This would give me six out of eight for Ezreal. If, if this works. It may fire off spell or two just to have like with Ezreal in play so I do take damage. They do not. Um Twelve mana thermogen. You miss me. No, those two cards could not target Nexus that I was just playing. You could back it up. Those can only target units. So I can I can get excited and vile feast this thing, and then my Ezreal flips and or then my Ezreal levels up and it's a two four. I just I don't feel like that's the play though. No way. I don't think that's the play. They got fourteen puff caps with eighteen cards. Like, they need to draw a lot more cards to kill me, and the more cards they draw, the more puff cap damage they take. Pendus isn't bad. Kills Karma. It's important. Um. Sure. First speed. You can play that before attacks. Because of course I'm, like you know, I'm just basically assigned, resigned to getting rid of the ruination with the get excited. 
buff cap. did have the burst spell life gain that was Rest. definitely the card they absolutely needed to stay alive oh come on another one of those all right well we have elongated the game which could be good for me still got 13 puff caps with 15 cards now 13 and 14 Maez is now leveled up. Our best draw right now is Commander Ledros. Uh, Progress Day would be good too. You know, like our top end cards, obviously. Commander Ledros. That's not bad. Ooh. Three puff caps. I just, <laughs> we're at the point where, like, just drawing a 1 1, you're like, hey, that. That's that'll play. I got the kids. So they need an Ezreal to win. I could see them using Deny here. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. So now I don't know if they just like generated a free Deny or if they deny this. Yeah, this deck could be good against Karina Control maybe. Yeah, I could see that. I hope that's like their second deny out of their deck and not a randomly generated one from the karma. Cause basically I wanted to I want to get try to get deny out of their hand where then they drop Ezreal and then I drop Ruination and we get rid of Karma and Ezreal. But the the problem here is now they have just a, a ton of spells. At the, at the time they didn't have so many spells. Oh man. That's their fourth karma. That's pretty fortunate, because, you know, like, they had the third Karma in hand to make all those things. I guess they could have gotten Karma's Age. Well, doesn't look like we're killing them anytime soon now. I want to go home! Ledros! Ledros! That's our that's our boy. Let's go, Commander. The Commander in Chief. Ledros. Glad I didn't attack with a 1-1 also.
those inside of ages. Real bad. Because that's what, like, Ez Ezreal needs a lot of spells, of course, to kill you. And so I was, I was feeling really good how they just didn't have very many spells. So many of these Last karmas inside of ages. It's their fifth karma. I do wish I didn't play my Ezreal when I did. I played it, remember, when it was like a 1-3 and I was at like 6 out of 8. I really wish I would have just had the patience and held on to Ezreal at the time. I think that was, that was a really big mistake by me. They've played two denies, and they've played two of the life gain card. Don't know if they have any more free denies. Okay, we're not dead yet. That was close. That was close, but we're not dead yet. Go get him, Ledros. Get him, Commander. Alright, so each I should be I should be casting get excited. I really should be. I should be casting it.
because <clears throat> my worst nightmare would have been like Ezreal right there plus a bunch of burn spells, but then they, they would only have five mana for burn spells. So I, without having cost reduction from a progress day, I don't know what they could have actually played. That was a close game right there. Yeah, that was that was a good game. That random plus four plus zero card cast twice that almost got us. GG's. <laughs> These two games took longer than the whole five games for the burn aggro. <laughs> Yeah, Ledros is, is our control counter. Yep, it's our other win condition that we, you know, when we need another win condition besides just Ezreal in those longer matchups. We got the Ledros in there for that. Shen Lux. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm keeping shock and beam. I'm not sure about grasp. So maybe we don't keep shock in this matchup. We don't keep these. We'll keep Ezreal. Like they're gonna be like like this is a mage seeker deck. But they don't play very much removal. Like they'll have single combat as like a way to kill Ezreal. Besides that, they won't have very much removal. For Ez. I don't think, I don't know, like, I don't know if the two damage is that worth it. For, if I, I cast the Mystic Shot on them and then they play their six drop or whatever. Mystic shots and static shock. And then I could thermogenic beam the three one to finish it off, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh. I don't really consider deny. Well, that makes my play worse. Deny makes my play a lot worse. I walk the space between worlds. One more mana. That's what I need. One more mana. I do believe. <sighs> hmm. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? You're on my my side, Ezreal. Shut up. This fifth point of toughness. Oh, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna beam it anyway. I do like how that turns on the block. I do, I do like that. How like if they try to attack with Shen, we get to block it. Gives us a, a free block. I like that. I also thought about like vile feasting, like where I'd be able to block with the spiraling and turn on Black Spear for like this next turn. Keeper, our lands need us. Static Shock was a pretty good draw. I don't want to just like also Vile Feast this thing right away because I could see them playing like a barrier for Shen and so then I need a Vile Feast after the barrier. Static Shock and Vile Feast, these are cards that are really good against barriers. We walk this See, I'm at 14. Still need two more targets. Watch and learn. So seven mana, two of it on Mystic Shot, so five other mana, that means I could have like Chump Lump Rummage combo. Or, you know, I may need Vile Feast to stop a stop another barrier. Yeah, that's that yep, that's what I was thinking was keep keep the spider alive for black uh for the for the black spear. For the for the next basically block next turn and have black spear. That may not be necessary with like ruination also, so I don't sure. I don't want to say that that was definitely the best play of taking five points of damage. I'm not too worried about them having oh, direct you. damage. I mean, uh, hey. Sorry. Do I know you? Oh, this thing is direct damage. Final sparks. Good against spiderlings also. I may have to just kill Ezreal. This is actually the exact matchup I played earlier today where Rasa was wrecking him. I had both Rasas, and you know, like they have just a few things like this, and Rasa just destroyed him. Darn it. I had another deny. Darn. Well, let's get another blocker in play. They don't know what they're up against. This has been a great deny because you know, like they don't. That would have been great ruination because they don't usually play that many Enforced units. Equilibrium. I just go down to four. Block here. Probably just go down to four. Hmm. 
Can you do 17 damage to him? One shot, all skill. Nailed it. Basically, I'm, I'm just, I'm really worried about the final spark. If it wasn't for the final spark, this wouldn't be too difficult. But the whole final spark thing, I'm really worried about. And like, they just pass here. Stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Um Cuz I if I target one of their things, they give it a barrier and then this flips and then this dies. Maybe it was just Chump Lump. Maybe it's just pass and just go to the next turn. Definitely really considered not casting the Mystic Shot and just going to the next turn. So we need to do 11 damage. This can do 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I would need two other spells that I can play in... Three mana. It's not very likely. Or do I play it safe and try to kill these things? I don't... That was not good. That was not good at all. A beacon through the dark. Basically, I don't think that the whole playing it safe is going to work because I don't think that... I got ways to find in so if I would have just played Chump Wump... So if I would have just played Chump Wump instead of the Mystic Shot, I would have had this, right? Yeah, if I would have just played Chump Womp, because then I would have... Let's see. No, would I have had the mana? I definitely couldn't... Honestly, it, it looks like they're just passing... Like, my only play to stay alive was to not play anything. That's what it kind of looks like. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause I had, so I had nine mana. So if I played Chump Womp, I still would have had five mana. So I would have been able to cast this, this, and then the two, and the other thing. So basically, would have been able to cast both of these. So we would have only dealt four. So chump, no, we would have still, we would have died if we would have played chump lump with Ezreal. So I think we had to just pass the turn. But still, even when we pass the turn, I'm not sure how we would have won. Yeah, that's not enough damage. Chump, Mushroom, Mushroom, Rummage, Mystic Shot's not enough damage. That would not have killed them. 
Because that would have been the same amount of damage we dealt, except for it would have been four extra. They were at nine. Like, it was, wasn't was enough damage. That would only put them down to five. And that's that's as much damage as we could have done. Grass, grass just doesn't matter against those barriers. Like, that's that's... They just respond to grass with a barrier. This is the card I needed, but I think I think I just had to pass and not play anything. I think I had to pass and not play anything. When they passed. But I don't I don't know exactly how it's gonna stay alive though. Even in that scenario, I don't know how it's staying alive. <clears throat> oh man, and the thing's tough. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I agree with you, Kamikaze. This is a very complex deck. Definitely. <clears throat> hey, Sultani. So now get excited, can take out the cavalry. Flavor and spice. Wow. War chefs? Wow. Raise the banner. Lift our spirit. Okay, well this deck is just like completely different than like what I was thinking it was gonna be. But yeah, now I can't kill this thing ever. Now this game's just over. Yeah, the Bannerman for the healing on this, but then also, like, the War Chefs. Like, if they would have just gone straight to attacks, they could have just War Chefs healed this also, and I wouldn't be able to kill it. Well, I guess... Wait, I guess this block should work, right? But still, like, these things are now just huge. Need to get another creature to die. There's another creature to die. Spell that. A bite to cook it. Dex looked really good. No, 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 no. We have to target this, because target anything else, they just pump it up. And we lose that one point of damage. Oh, next turn's turn seven, not turn eight. Ugh, I need next turn to be turn eight.
Sure. Sure thing. All right, well, we're two and two. Okay, that was a, a slaughter. Let's let's uh, get our next one. Hey, Convertido. Hello. All right, another Ezreal mirror. This time the Ez Draven. Um, you yeah, know, we don't need Ezreal right away. I think Static Shock, if they have House Spider, Static Shock can help us out. And also just be two, two targets for Ezreal. Um, prog you know, we may just cast Progress Day on turn five. Depending on how the game's going. Just get infinite creatures for this one card. Basically infinite creatures. Where are you? I'm gonna just keep this jury rig in hand. I, I could have cast it and then thermogenic beam for three, but I think I'm just gonna keep it in hand for uh, discard fodder. I, I really don't think that we need like the the one one and being you know just really turning on their static shock. I don't think we have to do that. I think I'm going to just progress day next turn. Which means not casting anything this turn. <laughs> We're back to back to seven mana Rasas. How they're supposed to be. Um... I didn't necessarily build this deck to beat other Ez decks. Like, I didn't necessarily have that as a goal. Um, I just kind of... This one, I just kind of built the deck of trying, seeing how Ezreal could do with some Shadow Isles cards. I didn't have a specific goal in mind. That's interesting, them using the, the used cask salesman as a blocker. At least that's the what the card's supposed to be doing, is be a blocker. See, I play this. I still have Get Excited available if they want to play like Ezreal or something. I need to keep clearing their their battlefield of small creatures so the Rasas actually kill big things. That's what I want Rasa to do. Nine in hand. So 
So I had, definitely had to cast another card because we had nine in hand and we were going to be drawing with the Static Shock, so we had to get at least another card out of here. Ezreal's at seven out of eight. All right, is it Rasa time? I have the best job. Could be Rasa time. I could. Could Ruination also. We'll see. Maybe better just a Ruination. It's so tough though. So Rasa's a pretty big blow. It just kills both of these. Um. But then I'm, like, never casting Ruination, right? Because then my Ross is in play. Yeah, we just, we just play Ross. Jury Rig would be annoying. Good. That's still annoying. Get a Mez. If I just went straight to attacks with Rasa, they chump block 100%. That's that's definitely a block. I don't know, because I could make them so they don't get to block. I don't want to cast the Ez as Miserable Shocks, uh, Myst Mystic Shocks. I want to have an Ez. I guess I cast Grasp. That's a lot of mana, though. No, we just get excited. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Who's going to kill their thing first? This is a crazy stack. <laughs> oh, come on. You got three Mystic Shots? Come on. That poor spider. Yeah, now the Ez shot's gone. I didn't think they'd have a third Mystic shot in hand. Good news is that took out a lot of things that would normally target my stuff, and so now their Ez is only at 5 out of 8. That's, that's the good news that I got. And, of course, you know, we have Rasa doing some attacking. <laughs> Thanks, Static. Yeah, this deck's pretty cool. Shadow is. These Rosses have been awesome. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. 
All right, let's give them some mushroom clouds. They seem like they need a, a hearty breakfast. So they're at 15 cards, 10 puff caps. Let's draw Commander Ledros. Nope. Yes, they spent all that mana on Mystic Shots to stop Ezreal from, from leveling up so that their Get Excited would kill Ezreal. Their Ezreal is at 6 out of 8 now. As you can tell, this hasn't been a good Ruination matchup, which we didn't draw both of those. Um, what did they discard of this? So I'm grasping my own 7-3. Darn. Keep them from leveling up. There is. And also, I didn't want I don't want them to get this this uh, Noxian guillotine back and then be able to loot it away. All right, so now their Ez isn't leveled up. So if they want to play Ez and you know hit me, then we ruination it. Ledros. I don't know if this is honestly worth it. Like, I don't... I don't think they're killing me with Ezreal here, but I can't say that they won't. If they have Ezreal, and then that takes three mana, then they only have six mana. But yeah, I mean, maybe they do. Oh, I like this, though. Yes, draw more cards. Yes. Draw more cards. I like that. <laughs> Check me out! Five man. They have no Mystic Shots in hand, except for they could have Ezreal Mystic Shots. I can't imagine five mana, five cards. They can't do eighteen damage, right? Five mana, five cards. They cannot. All right, three and two. We, we beat two Ezreal decks. Rasa's underrated. We need to play some more Rasa. Especially a deck like this. See, I think this is like a really good Rasa deck also. Because there's so much of like this small removal, you know, like we have so much removal for small creatures and we just kind of clear out all the small creatures they have. So they're left with just a couple of big creatures that's hard to deal with. And then, and of course they're like aggressive. So they're, they're willing to put out like a couple of big creatures. We chump block, like we have good chump blockers with Jury Rig, Warden's Parade and Vile Feast. All those making good chump blockers. 
And, you know, we just block, have a creature die, and then Rasa, boom. This is a, um, this is a, a pretty awesome, pretty awesome Rasa deck. Yeah, I think this is really like the best, like, yeah, this, like, this is like a, a good version of Rasa. Um, all right, so that's, that's Shadow Ezreal. So that's a, uh, another version of Ezreal, you know, um, want to try it out. Not, definitely not saying that the deck's absolutely perfect. Uh, could probably still use a little bit of tuning, but I, I was really happy with the Rasas. Um, unfortunately, they don't target, you know, like it's not like Yone where it doesn't target, unfortunately. So it doesn't, you don't get those Ezreal targets, but um, I think it's still definitely worth it. Um, we didn't really get to use Black Spear too much. Grass of the Undying looked really expensive. Um, and Ruination also looked really expensive. We just, I don't think we ever cast Ruination. I mean, well, maybe we did like once, but yeah. Anyway, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's Shadow Ezreal. Uh, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave a comment as well. And if you want to see your deck played on stream through five games, um, it is a $10 donation. And the donation link is in the video description. You can just donate your uh, deck code or just the idea for the deck that you want me to build. Um, so donation decks are open also. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Shadow Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.